Good morning and welcome. Today we are taking a look at some beautiful American pottery items that have recently sold on auction. If you are new to the channel and seeing our videos for the first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, uh, especially if you like antiques and collectibles as well as updating the prices that they're selling for. We try to keep as up to date as possible consistently going through some of the most important categories in the antiques trade. So today we're going to take a look at some uh, American art pottery by the Weller Company, uh, Weller Pottery, uh, you know, another early 20th century Ohio based potter um, that is pretty famous these days so you know kind of a household name in the older generations and they really have a specific decor style that they go with um, very much in the arts and crafts art nouveau uh, early 20th century stylizations they do break into some art deco but the pieces tend to be a bit rarer and a lot of the time we either get um uh, specific designs that are very textured or we get the sort of uh, you know traditional matte green green cream uh, tan cream colored pottery um, so let's take a look at what we've got here um, you know right off the bat we've got a nice pedestal um, and this is something that's pretty important for Weller pottery um, the pedestal and jardinier sets are probably one of the things that are the most desirable. Um, people love using them still, so uh, you do keep your eyes out. This one is about 16 inches tall, um, and you can see this sort of little off-centered hole at the top, which is kind of cute. Um, but a rather fetching look, and it would look really nice with a pedestal up top. We've got some impressed work going down through the uh, piece, and it looks like the paint is cracking a little bit with age, which is okay, and probably should expect to see on some of these matte green pieces. And it looks like the condition overall is quite nice, and we have a nice $2 bill for size comparison. I don't know. I might appreciate a better camera to take these pictures with. These are kind of fuzzy. Um, and it does make it hard to see the detail of the uh, pottery. But overall, a nice piece, and it looks like we don't have a mark on the bottom, which um, isn't uncommon for Weller. And it is a note of warning, though, is that a lot of times folks will call Pottery Weller if they, if they just don't know um, where it's from. And because Weller made so much pottery and so much of it was unmarked, um, folks tend to make assumptions there. Um, let's jump to a pretty cool piece, and I see now this is listed as Weller Lorbeekware. Um, and let's see. Which might mean it's not actually Weller. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. Maybe I'll put it in the description. But it kind of it, the Lorvik ware might be a specific uh, line of Weller pottery, um, but we have a very fun Art Deco shape here. You know, you've got sort of like the Metropolis City uh, vibe going on. We've got the old corded uh, power cable with the oh, jeez, the old outlet, um, and. You know, this thing, would, the, the guts would probably need to be redone at this point. It's probably too large of a fire risk to be actively using this. But a rather fetching piece, if I do say so. Um, the step design of the little metropolis is quite attractive. And I like this, like, blue, bluish purple fuchsia pink color that they've used. I don't know. Tell me what color it is. I'm bad at naming colors. And overall, the condition seems okay for, uh, you know, what it, how old it is. Um, and we have quite a bit of movement here. You know, we've got three bids uh, taking it up from 225 to 823. So quite a big jump there and quite a high final price. So very well done. 
Next we have a Weller Blue Cornish vase, which is a bit different. Let's see if this seller has anything to say. Extremely popular among Weller pottery collector collectors, made 1933. All right, so that makes sense. We've got this sort of Art Nouveau, Art Deco crossover um, stylization where, you know, we, and, and it's interesting because this is, this, this vase uh, does a good job of explaining how these styles sort of connect together. You've got a minimalist approach to naturalism, which ties in the Art Nouveau and Art Deco. You've got the arts and crafts focus on uh, the basic shape without too much ornate decoration. And then you've got, you do have the Art Deco stylization in there as well. And you'll notice that the berries almost create this sort of abstract pattern, which is very cool. And right spot on the time, I think for 1933, that makes a lot of sense given this design and a really fetching piece, if you ask me. I'm not surprised it sold for this hefty price. Um, and the condition looks quite good. Oh, that sure is a handsome piece. You almost just want to draw a face right on it. So we've got our last piece of Weller, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and this is a sort of Weller style that you'll see frequently with the forest and the sort of darker colored uh, pottery ware. Um, but here, the thing that's super interesting is these three foxes. And we really don't tend to see foxes on uh, Weller pottery all that often. Um, a lot of the time it is a forest or it's a young girl or a young boy. Um, sometimes we have bunnies or maybe a bird. But to get this little family of foxes is quite different. And well, we have some uh, porcelain sort of webbing across the top. I'm not sure what this vase would have been used for. Um, they say it's a decorative planter. It makes me wonder how big is it. Um, they list a size, seven inch by seven inch by five inch. All right, so that's not too bad size. That could make sense for a little planter, um, but a very lovely, very lovely piece. Um, really nice work done to get these foxes in here, um, even if they end up looking a little nosy. Um, really, really spectacular. I'm not too surprised. I, frankly, I think 200 is a little soft, and someone got a pretty good deal on this. Um, if I were to have this in my my shop, I might consider putting it up closer to the four or 500 mark, hoping to get that single buyer that is willing to take it home. But that's going to do it for today on our quick look through Weller Pottery. And of course... You know, it's 2021, uh, we've been doing this for a while, so you should make sure to go check out some of our other videos if you're curious about other prices and fun things that are going on in the market. Um, and of course, also make sure to subscribe, drop the like, tell me which of these items was your favorite so that I can keep that in mind for our future episodes. And overall, have a great day, everyone.